what's your favorite end of the level gimmick? Flagpole from Super Mario 1? Uh, spinny block from Super Mario 3? This flagpole gimmick? I mean, uh, this tape, tape. I like the flagpole. Yeah? Yeah. Standard Super Mario 1 fair? You know, like the axe in the, in the, the castle? You get the axe that kills Bowser. In Super Mario 1. That's like, a, yeah, the Bowser level. You anger the deep purple gods. We're deep so purple. There is no such thing as deep purple gods. That should be the description for this episode. Is like, we like, carefully dissect the career of deep purple <laughs> and vertical horizon. <laughs> and bare naked ladies. Comparative analysis between deep purple and vertical horizon. Yeah. Or just put like, put the lyrics to smoke on the water. <laughs> or no, no, put the lyrics to one week by bare naked ladies. Like. <laughs> Yeah, it's Pam. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna read that one actually. Because I didn't even do this level, so fuck. Something, something, something said I'm angry. Man, 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 Alright, I'm going in. I'm going in Small Mario because I feel like going in Small Mario means that you're signing up for a learning experience. You might fail, but you're ready to learn. Oh, God. Oh, no. I just made you say underwear. Just made you say fucking underwear, brosk. I don't like this. I don't like any of this. Oh my god, I don't like any of this. Ah! I should have spun you. Okay, see, see, here's a, here here's another moment where playing Super Mario Maker then fucked me up because I forgot I could spin jump on those assholes. So I should probably get lives, I think. Lives. I think this is my favorite song. It's been one week since you looked at me. Uh, if you, if I'll, I, I can, I can do that Conjured, for you. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> a reading. One week by the bare naked ladies. It's been one week since you looked at me, cocked your head to the side and said, "I'm angry." Five days since you laughed at me. Get it together, then come back and see me. Three days since the living room. I realized it's all my fault, but couldn't tell you. Yesterday, oh. you'd forgiven me. But it still be till day, two days till I say I'm sorry. Actually, that's not bad. And this is where it gets really good. <clears throat> <laughs> the other guy starts singing. <clears throat> Hold it now and watch the hoodwink as I make you stop. Think. You think you're looking at Aquaman. <laughs> I summon fish to the dish. Oh my Although God. I like the shallot Swiss. I like the sushi because it's never touched a frying pan. Hot like wasabi when I bust rhymes. Oh, God. <laughs> Big oh. like Leanne Rhymes. Because I'm all about value. Leanne Rhymes? The first, that first verse is not bad. <laughs> I agree. Bert Camperfurt's got the mad hits. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is Bert Camper? Whatever. Just keep going. You try to match wits. You try to hold me, but I bust through. Gonna make a break and take a fake. And they like harmonize this, so it's like, I'd like a stinking, aching shake. I like vanilla. It's the finest of the flavors. Gotta see the show, because then you know that vertigo is going to grow, because it's so dangerous, you'll have to sign a waiver. <laughs> wow. They are Canadian, which means they're fucking weird. I'm I sweating. I'm, sw <laughs> I'm sweating. I guess. Oh, so what? Like fucking... <laughs> Patrick Kane gonna be like, yeah, I like this. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I I should continue. I don't uh, even know if he's I, no, I, Yeah, yeah. I, I think I should continue. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> How can I help it if I think you're funny when you're mad? Trying hard not to smile though I feel bad. I'm ki I'm the kind of guy who laughs at a funeral. Can't understand what I mean? Well you soon will. I have a tendency to wear my mind on my sleeve. I have a history of losing my shirt. What? What does that have to do with being one week? Like what what is it what is the what does fucking Burt Camper Farts <laughs> have to do with it? Well, I have an answer for you, Sean. The answer is, it's been one week since you looked at me, threw your arms oh, in the air, God. and said, you're crazy. Five days since you tackled me. I've still got rug burns on both my knees. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Wait a minute! Hold on! Hold on! <laughs> What does that mean? Whoa, 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 whoa. Rug burns on both his knees. Why is he? Oh, boy. The plot thickens. Oh, 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 oh I 
lost it. All right, you'll, you'll have to you'll have to resume. All right, halftime. Holy shit, the plot thickens. Eliminate the second version and out that with the forest. I don't know what that means. Wow. But I'll do this. Wow. Oh fuck, maybe that's it. Maybe I'll go here. So this entire time, this song is about gay blowjobs. Ah, oh, here we go. Mm. Your boy done remember the secret. Yeah, baby. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, baby. All right, Sean's gonna take us the rest of the way because, because. After that stunning revelation. Okay. Chickity, chickity China, the Chinese chicken. <laughs> you have a drumstick and your brain starts ticking. Watching X Files with no lights on. We're Dan's La Maison. I don't know what that means. I hope the Smoky Man's in this one. Like Harrison Ford, I'm getting frantic. Like Sting, I'm tantric. Uh huh. Like Snickers, guarantee to satisfy. Like. Kurosawa, I make mad films. Okay, I don't make films. But if, they, if I did, they'd have a samurai. Gonna get a set of better clubs. Gonna find the kind with tiny nubs. Just so my arms aren't always flying off the backswing. That's the whitest fucking line ever. He's oh. talking about his fucking golf swing. Oh my god. Doesn't get more fucking... My dad paid for my college education than that. Like... <laughs> But somehow, that had a really calming influence on me playing the level. I don't know why, but that shit just put me in the Zen Garden. Oh, gotta get in tune with Sailor Moon, because that cartoon has got the boom anime babes. They That make me think the wrong thing. Why, why does that guy have rug burns? We never, we never really clarified. Like, I totally skipped the rest of his verse because... Ah! That hurt. That hurt. I had the game plan and I felt strong and I just didn't execute. It'll still be two days till we say we're sorry. It'll still be two days till we say we're sorry. Birch Mount Stadium, home of the Robbie. Bare Naked Ladies, Hall of Famers, first ballot. If I had the million dollars, I'd take out a hit on the Bare Naked Ladies. <laughs> <sighs> I did this so well, dude. I did this so well. It really hurt me that I, I failed. I should have got a mushroom. Yeah, let's, fuck, let's do this for like 10 more minutes before I fucking <coughs> shoot myself in the face of my own jizz. <laughs> wow. Yeah, because I, I didn't want to take a suicidal turn, so I figured I'd liven it up with some dick. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's exactly what I did. I livened up the situation with some fucking fuck i'll take them over well, I mean, smash mouth any day who amongst us hasn't accidentally Somebody. shot our, shot ourselves in the face with our own jizz i have to think i don't I, maybe walking might as well be walking why does he always sing like a like a douche do you think when he sings his daughter to sleep he's just, he's just like horse and old baby and never find that noise you heard <laughs> James Hetfield too. Twinkle, twinkle, little say. All right, are there any? All right, James Hetfield is a great example of a person who became a worse singer when they got better at singing. Are there mm -hmm. any other examples? No, it's funny because like Dave Mustaine has always been like a consistently shitty singer, but his like he gets more uh, credit. Like he gets more respect, I think, among certain peers because he just stuck to his guns. Well, at he least he always just sang kind of like. At least until that scene in Some Kind of Monster, and then and, <laughs> and then it was over. <laughs> you mean down with the, the Dave Mustaine therapy? No. You don't think that's like a it, real... It's so hard. <laughs> Wait, what's the line you always say that makes me laugh? Uh, what do you mean, that, that line? No, no, no. In the, in the, what he says in the fucking thing about being number two. I'm second. You know how hard it is to... I don't even remember. I haven't seen that Oh shit my years. god, it's so fucking bad. The one scene I do like from that movie is when they... Uh, try out uh, the bass players. That's like the only genuine part of the movie. I always say though, if you're gonna start a band, that that documentary should be required viewing. Uh huh. Yeah, and Spinal Tap. This is Spinal Tap, isn't it? Because like, yeah, yes, yeah, of course, Spinal Tap. Because it, it it's the thing. It's like every 
pitfall. Do deep for life. I mean, every every like pitfall that oh! that kills bands, everything that like breaks oh bands God. into a million pieces happens in some kind of monster, and it happens to a band that's fucking huge. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It's Ben. It's Ben. Forty-six uh, minutes since I sang the song. Um, look up some Smash Mouth lyrics. Somebody once told me the world was. Oh God. <laughs> I did it so well when you were doing the very naked ladies. That sucks. <laughs> Come on, Sean. Be, 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 you know what? Sean. Sean. It's a cool place, but they say it gets colder. You're bundled up now. But wait until you get older. But the meteor man. I, see, I don't want to read it and start singing it like, like the way he does. Because it's like ugh, lame white boy 90s rap. It just makes me embarrassed. Again. What the fuck? What the fuck is that shit about? Again, I say. Why is that guy in rug burns? It, it's a good thing that Rodriguez didn't get popular until he was seventy years old, because, dude, Rodriguez. I, I'll give you the records. Oh, just watch, watch, watch. Just watch Searching for Sugar Man. It's a documentary. It'll, it'll, you, you'll just, you'll cry. <laughs> it'll, it'll inspire you. You'll, you'll like finish watching it and write a song. SOMEBODY! Oh my god. No, no, no. We don't do that here. We don't. Oh, wait, should I look up some, uh... Like... We don't do that here. Oh, man. No, we should... don't do that here! Yo. Get the fuck away from my bag, man. My stress level is through the roof right now. But I'm gonna do this. No. Because I... Ah! can do this I have the necessary skills to get this done hey um I can do this I can get this done okay 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 we're alive no 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 fuck you fuck you what's is what's like I don't know if you'd be able to tell me this Dan or Steve but like What's like, what's like a, is there a Pearl Jam song with really strange and or questionable lyrics? That would be funny for me to read. <sighs> I had the fear. I totally just had the fear. Uh, I guess Mankind would be, it's one of the ones that Stone sings and he. Uh, oh, okay. That, that just says it all right. Yeah. Like Stone sings it. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty goofy. Chocolate, like you just like, yeah, right, yeah. He's like the Beatles song that's about chocolate. Is that Savoy it, Truffle? Yeah, it, in, in Mankind, he, he says the line, using all my Listerine, like Ovaltine. So, so that's, you know. I guess he smokes a lot of weed, man. You know, it's <laughs> give, him, give him a break. He's probably stoned right now. I like Stoney. He doesn't take himself too seriously. <laughs> all while Sonny's licking his butt. Boom, boom. All right, all right. Here's what's gonna happen. Sunny to make myself feel better. Take some lives. Here's what's gonna happen. Here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna beat. We're gonna beat the fifth castle and call it a day. So I'm gonna come to the fifth castle so that we can combine our efforts, and one of us is gonna best it, and then the stream is gonna end. Why? Statement of purpose. That's why. Yeah. Statement of purpose. Judy. Judy. Take it down. I'm gonna look up some uh, motherfucking name, motherfucking name, motherfucking name, motherfucking name. No, 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 no. We don't do that here. No, 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 no. We carefully walk. No, no, no. We walk carefully. No, 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 no. Me, 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 me. Was this a song by a stone monster? Uh, mankind. Mick Foley. Oh God, it's all Mick Foley. It's all McFoley. Oh, baby. Is it about McFoley? Yes. Oh, God. Yes? It's co written by McFoley. Oh, God. Oh, You're God. Serious? No. <laughs> Not serious at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why? why? That's like such a random Pearl Jam thing to do. No, the song, the song is real. It's not co-written by Nick Foley. There you go. You'll be going out with Radio. No! Bah! Going out with Disco. Going out like Bacchan... Bacchano? Bacchano. <clears throat> I'll be going out with the Telephone. Going out alone to the Radar Zone. It's all just inadvertent imitation. You're just trying to put big words together. Come on. 
And I don't mean mine. It's all across this nation. If it's just inadvertent sim simulate. All right, come on, man. 